It is a book that grabbed headlines for its racy, adult-oriented theme. Now, a teacher in Roxborough has been suspended for buying a copy of the controversial Fifty Shades of Grey for a ninth grader. NBC 10's Nefertiti Jacquez is live at Eastern University Academy Charter School in East Falls tonight. Nefertiti. Renee, school officials here say that the teacher had no idea that the book is racy and that it had sexual content in it. However, mom says she's not buying it and thinks that this teacher should be given the pink slip. Maya Latson is frustrated and angry. This mother says she wants her son's high school teacher fired after he bought the teen the novel Fifty Shades of Grey. Fifty Shades of Grey clearly states on its cover that it's erotic romance, mm -hmm. it's pornographic, and it's for mature audiences. Maya says she was stunned to find a copy of the racy read in her son's room on March 9th. Her shock turned into outrage when she learned how he got the book. He was supposed to check into the contents of the book. Admittedly, her son John, who's a ninth grader at Eastern University Academy Charter School, asked for the book to read during an independent reading period. The problem, mom says, his teacher and Advisor Philip Adu gave it to him. He never obtained um, parental consent, and there's just no excuse for that. Now, according to the school, Adu went online and ordered it. However, school officials are calling the teacher's actions a mistake and released a statement saying, "Quote: Unfortunately, Mr. Adu did not have an awareness of this popular book and ordered it with his own money." Not buying it. Not buying it at all. Especially when she says she has been forced to file a number of complaints with the school before they launched an investigation. It wasn't until Wednesday that they decided to suspend the teacher for a week without pay. But this mother says a suspension is not enough. He should be displaced, if not terminated, for his 100% negligence. And because mom says she still isn't satisfied, she tells us she will now file a complaint with the Department of Education. We're in East Falls tonight. Now for TD Jacquez, NBC 10 News. Police are searching for two men who broke into a home on the main line before the homeowner fought back. Police say two men rang the doorbell of a home on Remington Road.